Hi everyone, and welcome to this second tutorial in a series of three on how to create your very own generators, which once exported, will appear on the list of generators along with those already provided in Autograph. In the last tutorial, we set up a project simulating a dirty lens with dust and fingerprints, and it was a responsive design project able to adapt to any given format. The size of the original noise used for the dust and the positioning of the fingerprints were determined by the format of the composition containing these elements. We also adapted the visibility keyframes so that they had an infinite duration. Instead of having to navigate in the stack or in the properties panel in order to access these elements, like the number of fingerprints for example, we're going to create a control panel. We can add a control panel to a composition by simply clicking on the plus button. A new tab has been added and we can rename it by double clicking on its name and renaming it control panel for example. You'll notice that on the left, a blue lock icon has appeared and it's unlocked. This means that we can edit this control panel and add some composition parameters. If the lock is locked, it means that we can't edit this control panel. The plus button allows us to add composition parameters. Here we'll find all the types of data Autograph can contain, like floats, integers, colors, gradients, time parameters, we can even add a button that lets us add a file selector, define a text source, connect an image, reference a layer, create a drop down menu, add a checkbox, create groups, which we'll do in a minute, or even link assets and entire 3D scenes and connect cameras. A group isn't really a composition parameter, it's there as a tool to better organize all of the parameters that we're going to connect to this control panel. To rename this group, we can select it and press the F2 key. Like here, for example, we'll name this group Fingerprint. If we want to control the number of instances, we can start by adding an integer, since this parameter type is an integer, and then we can click on the connection button and select Copy Link, as this is what will control the parameter, whereas the instancer parameter is the one that will be controlled. We can click on this parameter button and select Paste Link. You'll notice two things. The parameter in the control panel is now controlling the instancer parameter, which is grayed out to represent that it's being controlled by another parameter. We could drag this parameter into the group, but instead, let's look at another faster way to create a link between the control panel and the parameters. Let's disconnect the instancer composition parameter, select this parameter, and press the delete key. The other way to create a composition parameter is to just drag and drop the parameter into the control panel, more precisely in the fingerprint group. The composition parameter has been created automatically, and the link has been made between the instancer parameter in the fingerprint group, which we can close and open up. Here again, pressing the F2 key lets us rename it. We'll call it count. Now we'll do the same thing for the different parameters of our project. By opening up the Instance Transform section, we can recall that the positioning of the fingerprints was done through two random generators based on the width and height of the current format. The most important parameter to display in this generator is the seed that sets the random value. If ever we're not happy with the positioning of the fingerprints, we can just alter the seed values to set a different positioning. So we can go ahead and drag and drop the two seed parameters in the fingerprint group and press F2 to rename these two parameters, vertical seed and horizontal seed. Now we can change the distribution of the fingerprints on the lens as we like. We can also display the rotation parameters, for example, on which we also applied a random generator with a minimum and a maximum. So again, we can just drag and drop the minimum and the maximum parameters into our group in the control panel and press F2 to rename them something a little more comprehensible. Now let's take a look at the options for these composition parameters. Right now, a composition parameter is just a link to the parameter in the instancer, which has no limit. So we can give this rotation parameter a really, really large value. But if we click on the gear icon, we can set minimum and maximum values. 
So let's set the minimum rotation between negative 180 degrees and 180 degrees. Then do the same for the maximum value. We'll enter negative 180 and 180 again. The button at the very top sets the current value as the parameter's default value when the generator is instantiated for the first time in a composition. So we're setting a minimum of negative 180 and 180 for the maximum, so that these values are used by default when adding the generator. This options panel in the composition parameters also lets us define if the parameter can be animated. If this is the case, there is the possibility to add keyframes, generators, and modifiers. A large number of parameters, especially instancer parameters, can be displayed in the control panel. This is the case for opacity, for example, which lets us set whether these fingerprints should be more or less visible on the lens. Any parameter can be displayed in the control panel. If we decide, for example, to add a modifier onto this instancer, like this blur modifier, in order to make these fingerprints more or less sharp, we can display the blur's size parameter in the control panel. Press F2 to rename it and make it more understandable, so we can adjust the distribution of these fingerprints on the lens. Let's put these fingerprint controllers aside for now and concentrate on the dust parameters by creating a new group called dust. To do this, let's go back into the parameters of the noise generator where we created this dust. The noises level parameter, for example, allowed us to create more or less dust on the lens. We can slide this level parameter into the dust group, which will automatically create a new composition parameter linked to the noise parameter. Keep in mind that right now these values have no limit, so we have to go into the options of the composition parameters to define a minimum and a maximum between negative 2 and 0 0.5. Now we can easily control the amount of dust on the lens. To adjust the blur of these dust particles, we're using a defocus modifier so we can go into this modifier's parameters and select the defocus parameter to drag and drop it into the dust group. Then we can rename it blur. In this tutorial, we saw how to create a control panel made up of composition parameters so we could control certain aspects of our project without having to navigate within its structure. In the final tutorial of this series of three, we'll go over how to export this project through the notion of a package in order to create a new generator that'll appear on the same list as those Autograph already provides. We'll also go over how to link this generator with an icon and documentation that'll be embedded in this package. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more autograph tutorials.